So you, you you hit your you hit your head. Remember, it wasn't that the start of it. No. No. You always tell me you hit your head on the window, and then that's when it started. No, it started way before that. Right. Many many years ago. Right. So how did I, it okay. start then? Right, I had viral meningitis. It's one thing that I had. Right, that's but a severe disease. I've had, yeah, I've had <coughs> viruses basically. You know, like everyday virus. Yeah. And I can't seem to shift them. I can't seem to shift it. So I get a post about, virus. You're talking about recently. So then I get a post virus. Well, where, where, can you remember when you got diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome? What year was it? About 2002, I think. Really? Yeah, a long, long time ago. 2002? Yeah. And what symptoms did you have when they diagnosed you? Um, severe fatigue. Right. Um, my cognitive memory wasn't very good. My cognitive thoughts weren't very good. Yeah. Um, did it get worse after exercise though? My, yes. Right, yeah. okay. Um, my... Because um, you spent a long time in bed, didn't you? Yes. Was that was because, of, because of that? I was mm. in bed for many months because I was bedridden, really. Um, so when you stood up, did you feel weaker? I had... When you, when you tried to stand up, did you feel tired very quickly? Well, extremely tired, extremely tired, very fatigued in my arms and legs, yeah. like flu. But when you... I like I got flu. But when you well. stood, when you were... Yeah. A normal weight, when you first became ill, when you stood up, did you feel drained? Yeah, just by standing, totally. by standing, just totally exhausted. All no, but way. then when you lied down, you felt better. Not well. When you, it never. It, it used to help me to lay down. Yeah. So I wasn't, I'd stop doing things, but, but the when exhaustion you, was still with me. Yeah, yeah, but did it? Um, did you feel a bit better when you? Was it like a suction feeling, like gravity? like weighing you down when you stood up, did you feel like you were being drained and you felt... I suppose so, uh, yeah. If I you suppose. kept doing that for too long, you'd feel really weak and sort of out of it. Um, and, and also, did your heart rate increase when you stood up? Did you... I don't know. Did your heart start pounding when you, when you stood up I sometimes? Or did you get dizzy when you stood up? Did you feel faint when you stood up? I can't really remember. Right. Did you have arthritis? Like, did your joints start to hurt? Uh, like your fingers? And it had pains in my joints, yeah. Hmm. Did it come come and go, though? Um, I had a lot of brain fog. You have problems remembering things. Like I couldn't connect one thing to another. Yeah. Uh, do you have problems remembering things like what you did yes. two days ago, three mm -hmm. days ago? Yeah, and yeah. that only started when you became ill. The more tired you are. But that only started when you, when you became ill, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't. You wasn't always no, like I wasn't that. Not that. All right. Normally. And when you tried to do something like go for a walk or drive the car or clean the house did you feel like sick in the stomach or I dizzy clean the house, so physically but what would happen if you tried to do something when you were too tired do it. but when you were too tired and you tried to do something what would happen i just have to stop doing what i was doing but it wouldn't because i was at course would it give you a headache would it make you feel more confused. Um, I just feel like I'm not doing 
totally exhausted. Right. And that's how you got diagnosed. Did you have light sensitivity? Did you sort of, when you looked at something bright, was it too bright? Yeah, connect, um, yeah, I had, I had light. Did it leave, um, um, you know, like, um, some of the time, my eyes, yeah. I had a job with bright lights and things. Did it know? leave an imprint on your, on your vision when you see, see a bright thing, did it leave no. a, like an imprint? No. Like you know when you look at a light bulb at night? Yeah. Did it do that in the daytime? No. Just by looking out of the window? Okay. Anything, any other symptoms that were obvious? <coughs> well, obviously I couldn't walk very far at all. It's like sta low stamina. Um. Low stamina. Yeah. Basically. You can hardly walk. Weak. Use walking sticks. Weak, weak muscle. Feeling weak muscle. Yeah. Uh, did your muscles inflame? You have to sit on the chair to the shower. Yeah. Why was that? Because your muscles were. Couldn't stand in the shower. I couldn't stand in the shower and have a wash. Because your muscles were too weak, or yeah, because you muscles, couldn't bear to stand up. My muscles were too weak. Right. To stand and have a shower. Uh, so no, no like rashes or weird marks on your hands or no. Um, no. Uh, well, you said arthritis. Hmm. What about like stomach? Like bloating of stomach and things like that, or when well, I used to get like IBS thing, but when I you need to go to the toilet related. all of a sudden, yeah, I don't know if that was related to it or not. When you start uh, doing too much, when you start doing too much, do you, did you need to go to the toilet all of a sudden when you tried to do something? Not, not really. really yeah. hmm. Because most of the time I was in bed, actually, I didn't feel like getting up and doing anything. I physically, yeah, physically, did it ever? Physically, um, I couldn't do anything. Did it ever stop you from eating anything? Eating. Stop you from eating anything, or you reacted um, funny to like milk or sometimes something? Sometimes I felt exhausted. I didn't feel like eating. Hmm. It didn't stop me from eating or anything because I always had some form of something to eat. Right. But, um, trying to think what else. Other um, people had to make my food for me. Did you have blurred vision at all? Blurred vision sometimes? Sometimes I used to get blurred vision, yeah. That would come, come and go. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> um, did your muscles ever inflame and they felt really painful? Like worse than no, not an ache, but like an actual burning pain. Well, I used to get a lot of pain in my muscles. Yes. But was it a sort of dull ache, like flu tiredness, um, or was it like a sharp but inflammation? And I also used to get pain, sharp pains in. Yeah. In my joints as well. In your joints. Yeah, my joints. Because like for for me, like in prison, when I walk too far, my Legs would all feel inflamed. Muscles yeah. would feel inflamed, like a burning pain. Yeah, they were sen sensitive. Did you ever have that? Mm. Yeah. And no, so no sort of uh, nausea then. No nausea. sort of feel feeling like weird feeling in the stomach. Yeah, feeling a bit. Feeling a bit ill in the stomach, like when you do too much. Um, and you don't have. Um, I so. And you don't have um, chemical sensitivity, do you? Ah. Uh, no. That's why you're wrong. What? You have some chemical sensitivity. To to what chemicals? To which ones? What, but, um, I don't like certain chemicals and they would affect me 
does mold of does mold affect you? Yeah, that can affect me. Black I mold. Get, yeah, I get chest infections and stuff like no, that. No, 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 no. It would fe make you feel. Fe it would make you feel feverish and confused. Yeah. It would make you feel like you were sick by being in certain rooms. Because remember, you said Grandad used to have. Granddad used to have. Um, no, you smell the bleach and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It gets dry, doesn't it? Yeah. But is that any no more than the normal person? Um, I don't know really. Because you said Granddad didn't like the chemicals. And it made him feel ill or gave him headaches. Yes. And he had to. Give him headaches. Go out. I get a lot of migraines actually. Mm. I get a lot of migraines, but then I've got my maturity. My but that is more recent, more. right? Yeah, but that was more um, recent. About ten years. It? Yeah. So. Not twenty years ago. But yeah, so. <coughs> but granddad, did, did granddad feel ill, like flu? Did he feel feverish or confused? He didn't feel well when he had to smell it. Confused. Chemicals. Right. He, he used to know his nan had been spraying hairspray and stuff like that. He used to. Yeah. He never used to like that. Yeah. Um, the smell used to get down. Get down, you say. I'm recording the 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 sound. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pointing it away from me. That dad's not doing too well, is he? He can no, barely talk. He can barely talk. barely talk. I yeah. think Holly will go and do this this week shopping. So if you want any shopping, write it on the list. Yeah, well Nathan Nathan never give me back that bike lock that I asked for. The one that I'd need to go shopping with, because I won't leave, I won't leave my bike unlocked. Yeah, because I gave. What's the tea gone? What I made? I don't know. Oh, it's here. Yeah. I, I gave it to him to take to work, so oh, he right. can lock the bike at work. Oh, well, you haven't given me it back. No. <coughs> well, just write down what you want, and Holly can get it for us tomorrow. Right. Better to do some shopping tomorrow. I'm just eating whatever I can find. Those ten boxes of Hawaii pizzas you had. In. Yeah. Haven't seen much from my brother, have we? No, I've got that virus. Mm. I've got a virus still. Not coronavirus. Donuts the other day. Gone yeah, I don't know why he brought them. He brought them for Dad and us. Celebrate Dad's ringing the golden bell. Right. That's what I brought them for. For all of us. And you, you remember, so you remember when I was ill, yeah? Very, very ill. Yes. Mm. I do. I remember when you used to crawl along. <coughs> On the floor. I only, <coughs> only left the house from to go. One room, the room next to the toilet, used to crawl from the chair yeah. to the toilet. Well, that only was only for a few weeks. To go to the toilet. That was back. only for a few weeks. And then though. you slept in the chair downstairs because it was so poorly. I was in the TV so room for a long time. Stairs, yeah. Could you? yeah, I didn't want to keep walking up and down that. Well, you couldn't do it. Stairs. Do it. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't. Why? That was like that for months, wasn't it? Um, and then I only left the house to go to the doctor. I, I only left the house to go to the doctors, didn't I? Yeah. And then after a while, I start after like the next year, I started using your red mobility scooter. Yeah, remember? Put you on the insurance, yeah. But before that, I didn't really go out for yeah. quite a while. All right, I'll leave you to it then. Yeah, 
legs legs haven't got too much energy today feel quite lactic acidy but um I'm also feel un uh, restless. I feel restless but exhausted, and I think it's probably because of the exercise I did like last week. It's still affecting me. I don't feel uh, normal f phys physical ability. Um, right now, I have some light sensitivity. Like I just said to my mum, like do you get imprints? Because I've just gone outside. I have this yellowy greeny ready imprint on my vision when i close my eyes particularly but it's also visible with my eyes open it's like causes a inability to see clearly um yeah so my mum's symptoms are quite different to to mine although the the fatigue is the common factor like I do get headaches and migraines, but they're not they're not that common. She gets that much more often. I have the chemical sensitivity where very strongly where she said she doesn't really because she uses a lot a lot of chemicals like bleach and things it doesn't really bother her. Um, she'd probably be fine to go in the garage, which I'm really allergic to. It's not really an allergy. It's it's more like an um, it's a unique mechanism that doesn't, it's easier to just say to people that you're allergic, but it's not, it's not an allergic reaction, it's something different.